Um, so I'm, got, I'm about to fire this up and it says run with censored graphics better for YouTube videos. Um, I guess, I guess I'll click. No. Holy shit. I don't know if this is something that YouTube would censor or like would have a problem with, but uh, it seems like this person has been hurt tremendously. Of martyr? <laughs> Let me free you, fucking maniac! Okay. Find the key, huh? Oh, shit. I like that. This is cool. Hey, there's my pinky. I dropped a pinky whenever my pinky got ripped off. Hey. I got the key. Now what? Dude, I got the key. I got the key, bro. Found the fucking key. It's a fucking simple game. It's not simple enough for your fucking brain. God damn it. I found the key. What do I do? It's fucking simple. Okay, I mean, what the fuck? What do I do with the key? Shit. I like it. I mean, if we get to see full frontal bloody vagina nudity on the woman, why can't we see full frontal, you know, severed penis on the dude? Hey, there's a meat locker full of people. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening down here? What is high what happening? Is this, place? this way? If my. Oh, fuck that. This dude really likes naked dead bodies everywhere. Oh, I can't wait to try out Dismantled. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls? Uh, I'm Proto Dead, and I'm coming back uh, at you with another Let's Try Out video. Sorry if I sound a little bit like shit today. Uh, I'm just getting over sounding like shit. Uh, so we're going to be playing a game called Dismantled. It looks like it's a first-person shooter, maybe indie developed, or maybe maybe it's not Dismantled. Maybe it's uh, <clears throat> maybe it's called D1 Smantle 3D. Uh, maybe there was a 2D version of D1 Smantle, and uh, I don't know what D1 Smantle means, but if there's somebody out there that wants to fucking D1 Smantle me, just uh, email me and we can get together. Um, so I'm, got, I'm about to fire this up and it says run with censored graphics better for YouTube videos. Um, I guess, I guess I'll click. No. I don't know, man. We'll, we'll just be surprised. I wonder how fucking dirty it's going to get. I mean, I'm all for some adult. I mean, my, my channel is for adults. I don't have any, I don't fucking invite any kids and what the hell? Here we go. I had to click to it. <clears throat> um, kind of pixelated. Was it Pluey slang? Pluey of slang? I can't read the fucking name of the whatever. So this definitely has an indie look to it. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. My cursor's fucked up. Um, like, my cursor doesn't, it's like it's confined to the shadow realm here in the middle of the screen. Uh, I clicked. Okay, so now we get the, uh, settings. I feel like the music, like, everything's too fucking loud, like always. Um, arrow keys to decrease the volume. I'll bump that back up a little bit. Yeah. I don't know what all these other sound options are. They it looks like either it's really complicated or maybe it's like really fucking dumb. I don't know. But I do like uh I do like the sound when you go in. Do do do. And then dun dun 
coming back out. It kind of reminds me a little bit of some Half-Life. I don't know why. Uh, weapon reload. Use open. Needs to be F. I'll skip through all this shit, by the way. I will say that I do like that you can have two, like, separate keybinds for the same thing. So, it looks like there's no leaning left and right, so uh, I've rebound my lantern to the E key, and of course, my use open is always F. Uh, you know, I got I got set my shit up on Tarkov controls, or I'll be lost as a motherfucker. So, enter to change, back to base to clear, and it looks like... Uh, uh, for an indie game, man, like, uh, the rebinds, like, even though it looks simple, it's it's very adequate. I like it a lot. So, let's hit the play button. Difficulty. Aglophobia. I don't know what aglophobia is. Agoraphobia is like a fear of people. Valiant means, like, you know, you've got some sort of, like, inner light or your confidence, you know, that, that derives from some place maybe that you're not uh, quite you know, justified to have or whatever. And then masochist, of course, means uh, I like to hurt myself and I get off on, on inflicting self-harm or whatever. So uh, we'll just hit a glorophobia for now because I don't know. I've Dude, I've clicked it so many times. Whoa, my cursor, it feels like my cursor went below masochist. So I was trying to do it with the cur with the cursor on the screen, the mouse cursor, and it totally didn't care. So uh, I wonder if there is a hidden difficulty and there's something fucked up with the code. Like if you beat the game in in Valiant, maybe it'll unlock something beyond Masochist or something. Anyway, <clears throat> low poly, I love it. Repeating pattern skybox. car will not start. Isn't this how the Evil Dead movie opened? Hey, I got a cell phone. It's dead. Oh, voice, voice acted. Cell phone's dead. I can dig this, man. I mean, like, there's, there's nothing wrong. I hear shit in the woods. There is nothing wrong with an old school styled game that has like a personality and like flavor and it have like 2D fucking, you know, Doom style uh, uh, fucking panel graphics or whatever, so long as it's innovative. So you're always running, if I hit shift, I walk. I want to point that out. What was that scream? Oh, this sounds like a foreign, like a uh, non-American... Uh, uh, English speaking accent. So maybe tell me this isn't in fucking like Eastern Europe, like close to Russia, another fucking Russian game. The fuck's up with the trees, man? The trees are all wigging out on me. Uh huh. Like, see, like, playing games like this makes me think that I could make my own game. Like, there's nothing wrong with this right here. I, know, I understand that this is not everybody's cup of tea. Another cell phone. Oh, I found a wallet. Vincent Heil. Age 25. Blood type O. Ah, uh, blood type O, you say? I like how the, uh, the information popped up on the screen real small in some place. Not in the big fucking middle of the screen, you know, like some games like to obscure your vision of the gameplay. Is that just like a 2D representation of a dead person? What happened to this guy? What? What's that? Hello. Who's there? <laughs> okay, that was cool. It's kind of like he was hallucinating, maybe. I, too, enjoy hallucination. Welcome to my new basement of Martyr. Of Martyr? You have to found the key as fast as you can. Otherwise, this device will remove one of your fingers. 
Let me free you, fucking maniac! Let's begin. Okay. <coughs> um, find the key, huh? Okay, so this is some 2D paneling shit. Oh shit. I like that. This is cool. Look all around the corners. I don't see any key anywhere. <laughs> Can't hear what this guy's saying, but I like the pictures on the walls. They're fucking slick. Fuck you! Fuck you! I don't like that it's not a crouch Fuck. toggle. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, there's my pinky! I dropped a pinky whenever my pinky got ripped off. Hey. I got the key. Now what? Dude, I got the key. I got the key, bro. You begin to you begin to be boring. It's too long. Come on, fucker. Found the fucking key. Found the fucking key. It's a fucking simple game. It's not simple enough for your fucking brain. God damn it. I found the key. What do I do? Okay, I mean, what the fuck? What do I do with the key? Somebody, explain it to me. Like, uh... Oh, so I've got a, uh... <coughs> I've got the control of the lights, apparently. Okay. I found the key. Oh, I guess the key went to this door. Shit. I like it. I have to escape this place. Where am I? Yeah, so apparently what I was trying to say is there's a... I hit tap, tap Q and it changes the lights. Uh, like, I, apparently it's like if some people don't like the, uh, the uh, lights flickering or doing whatever the fuck, you know? Like that. Um, anyway, I guess there's, there's nothing to pick up in here. Um... Apparently, I've got fucking a finger and a thumb left. I don't know, man. I mean, whatever. It seemed like, uh, also, the instructions were unclear as to what was supposed to happen. That could be a problem with translation or their understanding of English. Um, could also be because they had a problem with the coding and the instructions got cut off. It seemed like my dude said something, and he cut off what the other guy was saying there for a second. Uh-huh. Okay. It's like, it doesn't matter where you look at in the room, the chairs always seem to follow you. Like one of those paintings with a dude with a big nose or whatever. Holy shit! What do I do in this room? Yeah, um... I don't know if this is something that YouTube would censor or, like, would have a problem with, but uh, it seems like this person has been hurt tremendously. Um, would be cool if there was some sound effects, maybe. Uh-huh. Why are so many, like, uh, environments completely fucking silent? And, like, there's nothing, like, empty, and there's nothing going on? Like, what's the point of this room was what? For me to pick up ammo to a gun I don't have. Mouse wheel doesn't do anything. The V button opens an auto map, just like in Doom. So, you can see my little uh, arrow, just like in Doom. 
<clears throat> and you can zoom in and out. Um, I wonder if there's like a way to display the auto map overlaid with the screen, kind of like uh, Strife, the game Strife, or maybe even Doom. But it doesn't, I don't know, I'm not, I don't have time to look into it. So, I, down, down at this end, it looks like there is a pipe works area, kind of like, um, you know, the thing that Mario and Luigi finds in the Mario movie whenever they get transported off to Toadstool Land. Not ready for that shit yet, so we'll go down to this dead end. Certainly this is a dead end. Hey! Oh fucking dead people. God. Okay. So I'm going to point out real quick that it looks like these guys are, are hanging uh, voluntarily by their hands. It almost looks like they're uh, like iron rings or whatever they're fucking called in the Olympics. So it looks like uh, these people uh, are actually happy just to hang here. They're probably doing a little bit of uh, Olympics exercises. And this woman, unfortunately, looks like a woman. Uh, looks like she's got spikes through her legs connecting her legs together. I have an axe. And then, of course, there's a cool torso that's just... Can't tell if it's man or woman torso. Doesn't matter. Why is the dude covered up with uh, with a, a skimpy fucking Daisy Duke shorts? I mean, if we get to see full frontal bloody vagina nudity on the woman, why can't we see full frontal, you know, severed penis on the dude? That's what I'm interested in. Hey, there's a meat locker full of people. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening down here? What is high what happening? Is this place? Yeah, so this kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, beginning of the movie Re Return of the Dead. You know, when it shows you like uh, the corpses hanging in the uh, in the uh, meat locker or whatever. Return of the Living Dead. You remember that? Where they uh, they kick the uh, the canister? Oh no, this is is this, he says is this canister safe? It's got the dead body in it from the uh, Night of the Living Dead movie, and the guy uh, the guy that uh, operates the place every day, you know, works there every day, says, "Hell no, man, this thing is great. Don't worry about it. This is made by the Army Corps of Engineers." And he kicks the fuck out of it, and then all the gas spews out of the crack inside. And they get all infected and shit. That's funny. Okay, so there's a lot of dead bodies. Okay, I get it. There's fucking dead bodies everywhere. This is like a prison. Um, you know, I guess I fucking need to look behind the door. <sighs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's fucking gore. It's like Saw. It's like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um... I'm not gonna say it's a bit much, but so we open this room and like this room is an event. It's supposed to be like, holy shit, this dude has killed so many people. Oh, so this is a door. Okay, I was I was about to argue. I was I was gonna argue that that's all that room is for. There's got to be more to it than that, right? So this is supposed to be some sort of HVAC system, I would imagine. And these are supposed to be pipes that are piping some sort of maybe HVAC or maybe it's some sort of pump. <clears throat> I'm gonna guess every one of these fucking empty ass bookshelves is gonna be a hidden a hidden door place. Are these are these pill pills gonna give me like my fingers back? Okay, so it looks like condition fine. Oh, so it's like Resident Evil, where you have like, you only have like four stages of your health. And my name's John. I'm John Goreman, or whatever. And I don't know what the inventory is on the left. I, under I, I understand the inventory on the right is my inventory, and I have a weapon fire axe. Okay. Files. Do I hit enter? Do I hit left click? No. 
How do I confirm? How do I go deeper into the thing? Oh, Jesus Christ. How do I get out of this? So if I hit escape, it opens up the big menu. If I hit escape again, it goes back to the gameplay, which is great. But I want escape to get me out of this screen. So what's the con confirmation to follow mode off, follow mode on? What does that mean? Grid on, grid off. What does that fucking mean? Okay, so we have some severe confusion. This is this is the first major bug of the game. If I hit V, I change I, I change the keybinds uh, for the auto map to V, and if I hit G, it shows the grid. And then if I hit what is it E or F? No, F is follow mode. So follow mode. If it's off, then it doesn't follow my arrow as I walk around, right? But if I hit G again, the grid goes off, and F again, follow mode now is on, right? But if I'm in the inventory, and I have the auto map open, like right now, I hit G, it says grid on at the top, F, follow mode off, it's going to, it's going to act like this screen is not the screen that's active on top, that more important priority screen it acts like the auto map is the uh, is the one that I'm I'm doing these keys for smacking these keys for so I have to hit V to turn the auto map off which I can't see you see and now I mentally know that it's turned off because I just hit V one time and now I can hit F as I'm highlighted on items to look at my items they need to fix that holy shit that is terrible and also, escape should get you out of this menu in a panic situation. Anytime I hit escape in a menu like this, it should take me to the video game. To the gameplay. So this is fucking bullshit. Um, so how do I back up? Uh, backspace? No. I'm just going to hit tab? No. How do I reverse? How do I back up? So now that I've gone here... How do I back? C? Crouch. The crouch button, <clears throat> the button you, you have mapped for crouch, backs up. Jesus Christ. So, the, the left screen is for files, apparently, and I have no files yet. But if I want to go back, it doesn't tell you on the screen what button to hit. But you have to hit C, crouch, to go back. And then you can hit C again to exit, but you can also hit F to exit if you're highlighted on exit. Because F is, F is initiator, F is forward, and C is always back. So I'm, I'm going to go into this, and then I'm going to hit C, and that backs up. Even though it didn't, when I click on it, it says use or check. I hit C, and it just backs up. Something to remember. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, it, it's a game. Jesus. I mean, fucking tell me the legend. Like, put a legend down in the bottom of the screen. Tell me what the keys are. Jiminy fucking Christmas. The door is blocked. There must be another way to open it. Oh, I have a key. What key? What door was locked earlier? Somebody. Tell me. Anybody. What door was locked earlier? I don't like how the doors auto shut behind you, either. I don't particularly like that. She's got some nice thongs on. Too bad she's dead. <clears throat> there was a movie called Night of the Creeps. I think it was this door. There we go. There's a movie called Night of the Creeps where the dude, the like one of the heroes of the story, uh, played by Tom Atkins, he said... Uh, I got good news and bad news, girls. The good news is, your dates are here. Bad news is, they're dead. So, for me, it's the good news is she's hot. Bad news is she's dead. Okay, so that right there, focusing on that and taking it, there's a light 
that's flickering in the area that draws your attention, that would have been a perfect opportunity for something to jump up and try to get you. Like, it, you focus, focus on this over here, like, uh, what do they call that, Kansas City Shuffle? You know? Oh, the music is bumping. The Kansas City Shuffle, you know, where you, like, you look left, but they need you to look right, or whatever. You should have looked right when you, shook, when you looked left and you get your neck broken. Oh, I have discovered a secret. What's the secret? This guy ties people up and ruins their vagina forever. Cuts off their fucking legs, arms, slices their body up. Okay, so we got a collapsed tunnel. Okay, how is this a secret? Somebody explain it to me. How is this a secret? I, I've opened up every door, uh, except for the Mario, Wario, Luigi fucking Pipeland world room. I haven't gone there yet. But I unlocked this door with a key that I found that seemed like you should find it. This door is locked. I can't go through this door. But over here is a tunnel that dead ends at a tunnel where there is a room. How was this a fucking secret? This is just more of the game. It's not that... Oh, Jesus Christ. Get the fuck out of here. You have discovered a secret. My ass. The game was set up for me to find it. The game was rigged from the start. Okay, so going back to the Mario World uh, Mega Pipe Dreamland. Again, I apologize if I sound like shit. I just sound like shit. Uh, I know. I notice a lot of people in YouTube videos. They say, "Oh, I'm just getting over a chest cold," or "Oh, I've been down with a with a cold, a mild sickness this past few days, and my voice is kind of, you know." Bear with me. I apologize for the quality of my voice. Yeah, I apologize because I sound like shit, and that sucks. What can you do? All right. Okay, the animation on the X is fucking simple. I'm gonna pretend like this is supposed to tell me don't go there because uh, I feel like I'm gonna get hurt. Okay, so if I was uh, engineering this, what would be the point of this catwalk if there's nothing underneath this or, or no equipment over here? Hey! Green looks dangerous. Or no, this is all, this isn't toxic. This is all power. Yeah, so I gotta figure out which power to turn on and off. Does this fucking floor, like, what does it fill up with water? Why is it like this? Is this a water pump station? <clears throat> oh yeah, so I did get hit. I did get hurt. So, how do I know which fucking one to turn off. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't understand anything. Oh, that thing's still alive. That looks, that looks like me on a Saturday night. <laughs> Alright. So I'll turn the pipe shit off. The pipe blow shit. <sighs> Come on, man. What am I supposed to do? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm gonna go over there in just a second, don't you worry. There we go. Okay, so you can't bust through these bars, but you can bust through those bars.
take me someplace good. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you also right now that uh, that uh, I don't particularly like uh, that the cursor, my reticule, is dead center of the screen. Hey, there's a chick again with her big ass titties hooked up to a fucking head apparatus. Ink ribbon. Oh, this is a save point. So, just like Resident Evil. Oh, I got a gun. Perfect. I don't like how the music instantly changes as soon as you cross, cross the threshold. Um, this has got this game's got the same problem as Skip from Tarkov has got. Whenever you step into like the interchange underground area from the outside, like how, how all the sound changes. I'm not ready for that whole room section yet, because uh, I need to come back here and take a look at what I missed. So there's a whole another path to go down this way. If my oh fuck that. This dude really likes naked dead bodies everywhere. So I can't don't I don't feel like I can jump out of this down into that pit, but now I just need to go into that room there. So let me go back. Yeah, so the reticule, what I was trying to say is dead center of the screen. That's like old school style. Um, there's a lot of games that have adopted the new, like I think Borderlands is one of those games that has adopted the new idea of the reticule actually being like one third cheated to the bottom of the screen. Like if you split the screen into a vertical or horizontal slices of, uh, of thirds, like the reticule would be on the bottom third. So you'd actually like the reticule would actually be sitting dead center. Like if I'm looking down the tunnel, the reticule, like instead of the reticule being here, it'd actually be like this. Because I find myself like, I find myself doing this a lot to put the reticule where it needs to be. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. It fucking feels, it feels more natural. Like if I'm looking, I don't know, man. I just know it doesn't feel right being dead center of the screen. And that could be also because I'm conditioned because I was playing, maybe I was playing a game recently that was the other way around. Jesus. What the hell? What kind of experiment is that? How is that even possible? Oh, so this is like Tusk. Is the, okay, so she's got, she's got her feet tied up behind her. As opposed to the, what I thought was, the ones... See, this one's got his dick completely ripped off. Oh, so these are our animals. It's not just a mask. So that is supposed to be like an animal mutated, like uh, reanimated to his head. I want that briefcase. Okay. Whoa. The game stuttered like a lot when that sound effect kicked in. Another bear man with his dick ripped off. How come we haven't seen a dude with his dick out? Like like a full dick member. Yeah. I don't know what's worse. Like an uncircumcised penis or dick ripped off. I'm not sure. Get back. I'll get back with you about that. I feel like I've been here. Was this where I got the axe? Maybe I couldn't go through this door because it was locked or something? No. Certainly not. Right? I wasn't in, I haven't been in this room. This is like a medical room. Damn. Okay. We'll do it, bitch. Let's see what's a crack of lack of lactating up inside this motherfucker. I'll kill your friend.
I feel I feel also like uh, I should have a flashlight, like a, a like a flashlight that maybe has to recharge or something. It's my first file. Okay, cool. Uh, it says Vincent at the top, 25, test 02. No, hold on. Let me read the text at the bottom. Experiment 125, test 02, gender, male, age, 70. Jesus Christ. Uh, his name is Glenn Coldwind. Uh, that sounds Native American. I think that's illegal. It's illegal to perform experiments on Native Americans, guy. Removing hands to connect weapons success. Damn, fuck. Uh, question. How come in the text everything is capitalized except for the I? I noticed on the, uh, on the home screen, this screen. Mm, no, it looks like the I is a one. I was going to say the... I, I can guarantee you there is something... See, like the J is lowercase, the I is lowercase. Why? Why are why are the eyes all lowercase, but everything is capitalized? Yeah, don't know. Um, maybe it'll make sense. Maybe it's a big meta fucking story point or something. So removing hands, connect weapons, success. Perfect. Removing legs and genitals, success. Okay. So how come tits aren't being cut off? I mean, are tits genitals? Wait a minute. Hold on. Why do I think titties are genitals? I'm about to have an existential fucking crisis inside my mind. Okay, so replacing head with a bear one. Success. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Fucking mission succeeded. Uh, connecting Tommy Gun <laughs> to the arms. <coughs> I was thinking Baraka, like maybe like swords for the arms, like Baraka or something, like maybe that would make sense. Or maybe those Mantis fucking blades from Cyberpunk 2077, like that would make sense, but Tommy guns, whatever. Implementing eagle wings, holy shit. Success. Subject is awakening. Injecting the serum, success. The experiment is also a success. Press use to close. Okay. Can I not keep the fucking letter? Uh, what if I want to look at this letter later? And it looks like somebody spilled their coffee or maybe projectile diarrhea on it. I love it. C does not back up for all those who give a shit. Dismantle D1 Mantle 3D. I want to see the 2D version of, of, of D1 Mantle. Did I go down this? Yeah, I came from here. Okay, so I've gone through all the doors, right? Let me open the auto map. Let me turn off the grid. The grid fucking sucks. Fuck the grid. Okay, so the dude said, the dude said he was gonna unleash a beast. So let's go back to the big room, I guess. Why remove genitals? What, how are they gonna piss? Like, you can't, you can't really cut a woman's beaver off. Or can you? That what, uh, like, vaginoplasty is or something? I don't even think it's called vaginoplasty. I guess... Hysterectomy would be genitals, right? I mean, like, to remove all the, uh, the womb and the eggs and the ovaries and the fallopian fr fl fruit flippers and all that shit. Ah, uh, dude. I don't know, man. Um, so, I would like to... I would like to kill something. Um, fuck it. Oh my god! Okay. You died. Perfect. So, the floor is lava, except for that creature. This game contains scenes of explicit violence. Okay. Rated M. Perfect. 
Uh, yeah, dude, fuck. Um, maybe, maybe we read the words of the developers at this point and see what they have to say about their game. Uh, Jiminy Christmas. As you guys know, a Let's Try Out video is a part Let's Play. There's going to be some commentary in here, a part tutorial. You learn as I learn as I play the game, and part first impressions, because a lot of these games I've never played before. And uh, you get to go through, step through all the problems that I step through, and, and hopefully we come out the other side learning a little bit. And kind of a part review, because I try to rehash a little bit of my opinions at the end of the piece. After we read the words of the developer, we can try to make a decision whether they're shoveling us a load of bullshit or if they're spot on honest and it seems to make a lot of sense with what they're trying to, uh, the product that they're trying to produce. And if you want to spend your hard earned money on it, because at the end of the day, I'm trying to give you an honest presentation of the first 30 minutes or so of a video game really is. That way we can make a sound judgment on it. So let's read the words of the developer. Dismantled is a survivor horror game inspired by the old Resident Evil games, The Suffering Games, and old B-movies. If you like survival horror and puzzles, then you'll probably love it, it says. Um, there's only 23 reviews since its release date in June 2020, and they're all mixed. So some people like it and some people hate it. I would like to have seen, you know, a little bit of... Uh, killing action going on. I guess the whole first setup is like a slow burn. Um, but this has been developed and published by Productions Pluey D. Slang. D. Sang? Pluey D. Sang. Uh, I don't know what else this person has made, or people, or group, but this game dismantled. It's a horror first-person shooter, survival horror survivor, 3D, adult-only, single-player video game priced at four dollars on steam if you can afford that this game contains scenes of explicit extreme violence and gore a lot of graphic nudity including penetration by an object shocking and sexual content themes also depicts acts of cannibalism rape necrophilia child abuse and murders this game is not meant to be played by people under the age of 18 discretion of player is advised Okay, I should have read all this shit before I started making the video. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, so, uh, it says that the package will include the original edition plus a game-censored edition. Uh, all gory, but without any of the nudity. Old-school edition, uh, Game Boy-like graphics. Uh, wow. The original free demo of Dismantled released on Halloween 2017. And an expansion pack bittersweet misery um yeah so i don't know it doesn't really say a whole lot it, there's not a whole lot here um uh, four dollars four dollars ladies and gentlemen so um it like so if you like adult themed stuff if you if you hunger to see more adult themed stuff that's not necessarily you know like uh you get your rocks off on seeing pixelated titty nipples or fucking mutilated dicks and shit like that i mean you know if i'm not saying that i'm interested in that i'm just saying i can just look at this just like any other piece of media to be consumed it's not the shocking or fucking wild crazy i'm you know i'm not fucking 12 or whatever i think i was probably even more mature than most people at 12 but yeah man this is an adult theme game for adults you know put it put it plainly so if you like this sort of shit, if you if you hunger for more uh, adult themed shit that isn't necessarily warm and fuzzy all fucking day, like the majority of the bullshit that we see getting pumped out by the ultra safe, uh, ultra rinsed, ultra fucking cleansed, ultra filter filtered, um, could want to be consumable and bought by all super corporate. Up, higher up executive motherfuckers that have that change any piece of art that molest any piece of art until all of the personality has been ringed from it if you're hungry for something that seems a little bit more um raw and maybe original i would say i would dare say this is fairly original even though at the beginning i kind of thought this was like basically a saw ripoff um but i think that's only a small part of it so i think uh I think this game actually has something that could offer to, uh, offer to some people that want a single-player 
uh, first person shooter experience and they kind of hunger for the boomer shooters the old the old panel style you know doom wolfenstein fucking was duke nukem 3d or whatever the fuck i guess there was there's blood and a bunch of other ones out there that uh, that did it um so hey uh, i'm proud of that if you like this sort of shit give me a like if you dislike it give me a dislike or whatever so um Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about D1 Mantle 3D. And uh, if I got anything wrong, inform me down there. If I fucked up anywhere, let me know. Let's start a conversation. Um, and until the next time, my friends, I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. And since you're here, why don't you go ahead and leave a like on the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Sound off in the comments below about any other opinions that you might have. I appreciate you stopping by. Subscribe for future content. Share my video with a friend if you can. It helps me out a whole lot. This is Proto Dead saying I'll see you in the future.